Hey everyone, this is Nate from NateScreenPrints.com and I make videos about screen printing at home using the hobby supplies, hobby kits. And in this video I'm going to show you how I made this t-shirt, uh, the Captain America t-shirt with the design list. To begin with, I printed out the image I wanted on my t-shirt onto a transparency, an inkjet transparency I printed out with an inkjet printer. I found the image I wanted off the internet and I just put it right on the on the page just like you would with just a regular piece of paper. It works the same way. You can see that I actually have two here I have stacked on top of each other. I've just been doing that lately to just get an, uh, an added level of security, making sure the light doesn't get all the way through to touch my screen. So this is my easy screen print screen. I'm putting it down, shiny side up, and I'm going to put my image down on top of it. And you can see it's actually mirrored. Captain America there is actually a mirrored image. And that's what you need in order for it to come out right on your t-shirt. So I'm going to put everything into the exposure board that came with the kit from Easy Screen Print. And I'm going to expose it using my Easy Grow uh, light that I have here. You can use any light source. You can use sunlight or incandescent lights, but this is what I find most convenient. I can screen print any time during the day. And I'm able to expose my, my screens in less than 10 minutes. Once it's been exposed, I'll allow it to soak in water for 30 minutes. This is so the you can see the image is burned into the screen. That part that has been burned in, that is going to be able to dissolve in water. And that's all going to dissolve and go away. You'll see after 30 minutes, all that has come out of the screen or out of the easy screen print sheet. So I'm left with a stencil that I can use for screen printing. Once I allow that to dry, I can either let it dry itself or use a blow dryer. Anyways, once it's dry, I'm going to attach it to my t-shirt that's laying down on a flat surface. And I like to use blue painter's tape to hold it down in place. You don't want the stencil to shift around while you're screen printing. And then I'm going to be using Speedball Fabric White Ink. I just place them on the top of my screen and then I use the squeegee and run it all over the image to make sure it gets all the way through. Make sure you cover every single detail. I hold it at a 45 degree angle to when I'm screen printing and then 90 when I'm just removing excess ink. Now I'm going to remove all the painter's tape. stencil and you can see there the image is left and once I'm done with the stencil I, uh, I go to the sink and I rinse off all the excess ink and these stencils will last forever uh, when you take care of them they you can screen print dozens of t-shirts with the same stencil over and over and over again um, so you'll just wash off all the excess ink and then leave it somewhere to dry or you can blow dry it if you need to for it to dry off quicker Now once the image is dried on the t-shirt, I use a piece of parchment paper, just a simple like cooking sheet parchment paper, and I lay it on top of the image and I use an iron to heat set the image into the t-shirt. This is just you know melting the ink into the t-shirt to make sure it's permanent, it's not gonna flake off or anything. Alright, the next thing I want to do is screen print the image I want onto the sleeve. So you can see I've, I've put a bunch of images on this particular screen, but since I just want the one image off, you're able to just cut up the stencil into any size you need. If you need to cut out a small piece, you can do a small thing, or you, or you don't want to waste an entire sheet, you can cut it. And you can cut it before you've exposed. You can take it out and cut it and then expose. That way you can save the rest of it for another project. Right now you can see again I'm attaching the small stencil to the t-shirt with the blue painter's tape. And this time I'm going to be using red fabric speedball screen printing ink. 
and I'm going to squeegee the ink into the screen. Being careful not to go outside the stencil, I don't want to get any excess ink on my t-shirt. And then I'll remove the blue painter's tape. And then I can wash off that stencil as well. And leave it dry. And this is the final product. If you found this helpful or if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. Please subscribe. And thank you very much.